bus. If you really want to make money in delivery, whether with a cargo van, with a box truck, with a sprinter van, being a UPS owner operator is a great opportunity because you have consistent revenue, you have consistent business coming in and out. Okay. So in today's conversation, I want to explain to you what it really takes to succeed real fast as a UPS owner operator. Well, let me first give you the overview because I really need to understand, to explain certain things before I actually get into the nitty gritty. A few, a few weeks ago, we actually released a video that actually uh, explained to you how to become a UPS service partner. So you can see on the screen here, if you really want to maybe go watch that video, you will learn a lot. So this video is actually a, a sequence. It's actually a sequel, not a sequence, a sequel to that video, to that first video. Okay. So quickly, what are the eligibility requirements if you want to become a UPS owner operator? This is not about you becoming a UPS driver. UPS drivers work for the company. This opportunity, you are an owner operator. You are actually independent. You're taking care of your business. Okay. And basically the thing here is that you are on your own. You run your own business, self-contracted for UPS on specific routes the company has already assigned to you. Okay. And so the requirements are very simple. You don't need to have a CDL. You don't need to actually, you just got to have a, a clean driving record. You got to have leadership, leadership skills. You got to, you got to be, you got to have customer, uh, customer obsession. Like customer service is really important for UPS. I'll talk about that later on. Okay. You got to be 21 years or older and you have to be able to, you have to be, you, you, you got to have your own, uh, your own truck, your own van, your, your own cargo van. If you don't have it, there are possibilities for UPS to help you lease. And you can actually be, be, be also, uh, you can be a fleet owner. So we have a, we know a lot of, uh, UPS owner operators who actually uh, own fleet. So instead of being a solo operation, you have uh, drivers who are actually uh, driving for you. Okay. So you get in the business from UPS, but you actually are hiring other drivers to do the work for you. Okay. So by the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. And uh, so in today's conversation, I just want to explain to you what it takes to really succeed but i first wanted to give you the foundation of today's conversation so you're clear about what we're talking about you this this to really understand this you first need to be approved as a ups owner operator so you want to go and watch that video so you really understand what i'm talking about if you haven't already watched it very very important all right let me give you a few pro tips here okay if you want to really succeed as a UPS owner operator, the very first thing you need to do is to try to qualify for UPS Integrad Elite Training. So the whole thing here is that if you're an owner operator, okay, and you want to uh, actually start making more money, like having revenue of uh, five hundred thousand dollars and above, and trying to have a quarter of a million free and clear, I'm talking about a quarter of a million net profit. You need to try to qualify for the, the within UPS they have uh, periodic trainings for uh, for owner operators and there is a school that is a really uh, that is really great it's called Integrad and here and there it's like a it's a way for UPS to train their drivers and owner operators and what they do is they have a, a system in place where they will actually uh, every uh, three months to six months UPS will actually select specific owner operators and uh, high performer drivers to go to that school they have about 10 elite training i would say campuses in the country so if you qualify for that this is really cool this is really because you, you are going to learn so much okay the training school actually has all the all the things that you really need when it comes to uh you know being a, a high performer driver okay this is really good and uh you are going to learn about ups you're going to learn about safe driving you're going to learn how to handle packages how to be uh, how to be customer centric they'll teach you a lot of stuff okay by the way boss today's topic i want to quickly remind you the, the topic i'm talking to you about what it really takes to succeed as a ups owner operator so the thing here is that you know that training that training is, is really cool you have a very comprehensive uh, curriculum okay and uh, what they what they what, what what really is good is that after you you graduate from that uh, elite training internal training 
you'll start getting more business. You'll start getting more like better routes, you know, like uh, exclusive rights. And this is where the juice is. The juice really is that you're going to start making a lot of cash, a lot of cash. The second thing you want to actually do if you want to succeed as a UPS auto operator is to embrace something called the UPS, UPS's customer first approach. This is kind of similar to uh, Amazon being, you know, like Amazon has a similar uh, motto. It's called a uh, customer obsession. So where Amazon is obsessed with their customers, UPS is actually uh, placing them first. Okay. It's about the same thing. Just It's just a matter of, uh, you know, branding, if you will, you know, but the point I'm trying to make here is that if you want to uh, succeed as a UPS owner operator, you need to really put the customer first. The customer must be queen or king, whatever rocks your boat. It's really important. So according to UPS, customer first is about providing a frictionless customer experience by focusing on what matters most to UPS's customer speed and ease. UPS aims to provide the best digital experience powered by their global smart logistics network. Okay. So they track their progress in uh, this area through improvements in their net promoter score. So the point I'm trying to make here is that if you want to really, if you want to rub elbows with the biggies at UPS, you really need to, to have a, a customer centric approach. It means what? It means you have to seek feedback. You have to deliver packages on time. You got to be always on time. Never be late. Don't try to play games. You know, uh, you know, the you, you are you are scheduled to, to deliver a package at seven at seven a.m. and you bring your ass around nine o'clock. Don't don't try to play that game. Don't play that game at all. OK, UPS, they will shut you down and they will they will reassign your route to uh, other owner operators. And, you know, you know how hard it is to get a, a UPS route. Right? right. I mean, I'm sure you have actually struggled like. You got people who wait for 20 years, 20 years just to get a UPS route, just one. And there are people who are so good. They actually get like three, four or five routes every single year. It's all about work, boss. OK, don't hit the game. Don't hit the player. Hit, you know, it's not about hitting the, the player. It's about embracing the game. All right. So you got to be a you got to have customer first mindset. You got to be uh, you got to be uh, you got to think about you got to embrace the, what, what UPS called people led. In other words, UPS really believes in their people. They invest in their people. They believe in innovation. Okay. So if you want to make money as an owner operator at UPS, it's not just about, you know, getting your ass in, in the box truck and just like, you know, I'm just going to drive and drive and drive. You can't drive your, you, you can't drive your way to success at UPS just by being at the wheel. You got to do way more way 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 more let me talk talk to you about the third thing you need to really understand if you want to make money as a ups auto operator again i'm talking about having like making a quarter of a million free and clear we're not talking about you know you can make like half a million six hundred thousand dollars gross but when you like net like a quarter of a million you know the funny thing is I know sometimes we get those uh, funny comments about people saying, well, this is impossible. I can't believe it. This guy's lying. Blah, 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 blah. It's just so funny because see, the thing is, if you don't know something, instead of being humble and learning, some people are like, you know what? This is just bullshit. This is bullshit. I, I, I ain't buying that, you know, because it doesn't jive with my understanding of things. So I think automatically it's wrong. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny, but that's beside the point. One thing I want to tell you here is that anything I'm telling you on this show, we have proof because we do have clients. We have business clients who are UPS owner operators. So anything we do, we get the data from our own research, but also from our own clients. So there are people right now in this country making a quarter of a million free and clear as an, as a single, single member ALC owner operator, as a solo operator. Nobody, the person, the, the people we're talking about, they don't have fleet they don't have a set fleet of several cars. They have they they are on on their own. It's only hard work, boss. It's only hard work. What I want to say here is that pickups and drop-offs are really where the juice is at. Okay, so UPS 
want to uh, put forward their pickup and drop off a uh, solution. So pickup, they have pickup every day. They have pickup every weekday, automatic pickup, flexible daily pickup. They have a uh, choose your pickup day. They have Saturday pickup. They have one time pickup. What I'm trying to say here is that if you want to make money as a UPS, UPS owner operator, you want, you want to actually chase those pickup opportunities like crazy. Okay. You want to position yourself so that when those, uh, those uh, gigs are coming, when those loads are coming, you want to always say yes. If UPS is asking you, do you want to do a Saturday pickup? You always got to say yes, bro. boss, always say yes. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. I'm, I'm talking to you about how, what it really takes to succeed real fast as a UPS owner operator. Another thing you can do if you are trying to make money, you want to try like six digits with UPS as an owner operator is to specialize over specific loads and routes. The whole thing here is that UPS actually will distribute in some states and they will actually distribute in certain geographies, specific loads and specific routes. And those are exclusive, meaning that, you know, once you have them, you, you just got, you just have them for life unless you f up yourself. But if you don't F up, you are really good. Okay. And the thing here is that when UPS, when you analyze UPS, you got to really understand their logistical uh, infrastructure. So UPS has nationwide, they do nationwide shipping. Okay. They do freight shipping. They do international shipping. They do uh, flat rate shipping. So my question to you is how do you position yourself boss? You got to choose. Because the thing here, unless you, you have a fleet of uh, cars, you know, and that fleet is working, uh, you're working exclusively with the UPS, you're not going to be able to, uh, to do everything. You can't do like, because UPS, the volume is so huge. You can't do like a airport one day and try to do a national uh, shipping the next day and then trying to do a flat, a flat rate shipping the other day. I mean, what I'm trying to say, you, you, you know, you can try to do like month by month. Okay. What we have seen really works is that some owner operators, they will do like one week, they'll do uh, international trip and uh, international shipping. The next week they'll do like flat rate shipping. Okay. But don't try to mix this like four or five types of shipping in the same week. It's just crazy. It'll just kill you. Okay. It's a killer. So don't do this. So what you want to do here is that you have to ask yourself, do I want to do nationwide shipping? Nationwide shipping is kind of crazy too, because that means you're not going to see your wife or husband for a long time because you, you are going to do a lot of OTR. If you choose nationwide shipping, like, you know, like you can wake your ass up in New York and sleep your ass the next day uh, somewhere in Maryland. OK, or come back the next day in like a Vermont, Vermont. OK, so you're going you're going to have a, a lot of uh, you, you're going to have a lot of OTR. But if that's what you want to do, then it's OK. If you want to do freight shipping, it's OK. If you want to do international shipping, it's OK, you know, so but you got to choose. Another thing you have to do if you actually want to make money as a UPS auto operator is you have to beef up technology in your operations. Remember, if you are a UPS owner operator, you are a separate entity. You're not working for the company, right? You are on your own. You are making your own business decisions. UPS is going to push business your way. They're pushing specific loads, specific routes your way, and you handle that. Okay. They are subcontracting for you. I mean, they are subcontracting to you. And so you, but the thing here is that UPS is so huge and they are such a, a biggie in their industry that you got to keep up with their technology. You got to really equip yourself. Techno technologically speaking so that you can pick up you can pick you can pick up yeah you can pick up with whatever they have okay for example if UPS I mean they do like a, a lot of software upgrades every now and then and if your system if your technology is not really communicating properly with the UPS uh, UPS internal system what, what we call their tech slack the tech st stack the tech stack if you if, if your technology doesn't communicate with the tech stack you're going to have a problem. Okay. So it's really important to beef up technology in your operations. We're talking about things like, uh, you know, using handheld devices. 
having electronic information infrastructure using software what i'm talking to you about this is not complicated you don't have to spend thousands of dollars you you, you only need to have the right software only one software okay we have actually covered this on, on another show but it's basically it can be a crm it can be an erp it can be anything but if you want to have more information just drop us a question below in the comment section and we'll certainly answer you based on your geography your city and state okay and the kind of the specific sector you're in we'll tell you exactly what kind of technology you got to use in your operations but the bottom line here is that you want to actually make sure that your ups owner operator business has uh, things like a radio frequency bar barcode scanners warehouse management software solutions like w uh, wmss and you also got to think about how how do all your technology how do all your technological uh, i would say uh, all your processes how does your technology integrate with the ups system it has to integrate right because uh i mean everything this is where your business is coming from and you have to make sure that your technology is integrating pretty well with UPS's uh, infrastructure. Another thing I want you to do right now, boss, is to actually familiarize yourself with essential tools that you need to have. So whether you are a UPS driver or a UPS owner operator, there are some tools that you got to have to do your job correctly. And it is your, it is upon you to actually uh, be familiar with those tools. For example, you have uh, the UPS nav. So UPS nav is really like some kind of a, uh, it's an on-road integrated optimization and navigation system that actually uh, was, uh, it was also known as Orion. Okay. And, but you do have a lot of uh, iterations of that software. The bottom line is whatever the name is and the time you are listening to this show, you need to familiarize yourself with the UPS delivery tools. Okay. Nothing complicated, honestly, nothing complicated. If you know how to use the GPS, you'll, you'll, you'll be, you'll just, you will be doing fine boss. <laughs> and, uh, another thing I want to say here is that you can also, uh, there's another app that you can, uh, you can find useful as a UPS driver or UPS auto operator. That's the rod for me. Okay. It's basically a rod planning app that is known for its user friendliness and automation factor. Okay. Making it ideal choice for new drivers. Now, this is uh, what we love about this uh, app is that it is very user friendly. It is very easy to, it is uh, easy to understand. You know, it, it has a nice, nice, um, how do you call it? Dashboard. Okay. So it, this is really good. The graphics are very nice and it's just a pleasure to watch or a pleasure to, to, yeah, to consult. Another uh, app, another app is a flat map. So flat map is kind of basic though, but it is very easy to use. It provides a free plan of up to 200 stops per month. Now you might be thinking that 200 stops is too low for it. most UPS drivers or owner operators, but this free app can help new drivers get familiar with route planning and uh, the, the, the uh, delivery industry in general, right? Which, you know, it really helps all the time. You also have another, uh, you have route Excel, which is another free software that lets you include 20 addresses or up to 100 addresses for a minimal fee. So you have things you have things like a route customization. You have a stack a stop split. You have GPS tracking. You have a easy import or easy address import, and you have a, you can send routes via email. Another tool, and that's called uh, Straightaway. And Straightaway is a, is a great uh, tool also for UPS drivers and owner operators, and it's a it's a great tool to kind of help you get from point A to point B. So here you have it. Here I'm just showing you a clear install a clear constellation of tools that will help you as a UPS owner operator. You need to be familiar with those tools so you can be successful and make your money as a UPS owner operator. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I just quick I want to quickly recap here. I, I talk I gave you an overview. I gave you a few pro tips, okay? Try to qualify for UPS Intergrad Elite Training. You want to embrace uh, UPS's customer first approach. You want to understand that pickups and drop offs are really worth the juice that just is that. You want to specialize over specific loads and routes. You want to uh, consider flat, flat uh, you want to consider like flat rate shipping, okay? 
beef up, te beef up technology in your uh, operations and familiarize yourself with essential tools. Thank you so much, boss. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>